Welcome back to Studio 701. So once again, the Sweat Sip and Shop event is happening Wednesday, March 8th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. Not only do you get a workout and fitness food all for free, you could possibly try cupping or maybe learn more about it. So Natalie Gomez, as you can see, is our brave participant today. Natalie, have you ever had cupping therapy before? I have not, so I'm very excited for Kat to do this <laughs> on me. I, I came prepared, you know, yeah. any chance to wear my Coachella t-shirt? Oh, I <laughs> oh, oh, National here we go. California so, Day. Somebody's <laughs> celebrating. Mac, make sure you get all the text in the back here. <laughs> oh, okay. Kat, what is cupping exactly, yeah. please? So cupping therapy has been around for many years. So it uses a negative pressure by using a vacuum-like suction. So I'm just applying some oil to her skin, because I'm gonna slide the cup as well. So you can leave the cup stationary or you can slide them around. I like doing both, because both are very beneficial. Okay, okay. what are the beneficial. benefits of cupping? So cupping therapy helps relieve muscle tension, increase blood flow and circulation. So the vacuum-like suction therapy I was talking about, so I'm gonna take my little suction gun, put this on her skin, and you'll watch her skin oh. kind of suck up into the cup. There okay? it is. There it is, so, <laughs> <laughs> when you're when you're tight, everything gets bound down, right? Mm -hmm. So we need to get that pressure out. We need to relieve that muscle tension. So typically, I like to start with my small cups and I slide them around, sliding cupping. And outside of shoulders are usually tighter, so she probably feels. Do you feel a little bit of that pull? I do, and it feels it feels good. Mm -hmm. yeah. It doesn't hurt at all. And then, so I'll do some sliding cupping first so her and I can feel where she's more stuck. We release that sheet of tight muscle and then I'll leave them on stationary for a while. Okay. Sometimes you get those marks, like you were talking about Michael Phelps getting marks. Yeah. They call that stagnation. So what that means is everything was stuck there. So we need to break it up and get it moving. So not everybody colors. It depends yeah. how much suction we use, how long we leave it on, and how much stagnation it's we have going on It's making me tight. There. Watch, watch it. <laughs> oh, okay. feels, it feels so good yeah, though, I'm doesn't like, it? I'm jealous because like, my right shoulder, I could use yeah, that right it's, now. It's making you tight, but it's actually relieving the tightness in my body because I can actually feel that on my right side. Well, wow. that's what I was going to say yeah. is, does it hurt? You know, I'm sure people ask that all the time. See, she has a little pink mark. So a uh, little pink means good circulation and blood flow. If we would have left this on longer, I'm going to guess it would color more. Mm -hmm. We're tight there, so we got to break it up. we got to get that blood flowing. It mm -hmm. doesn't hurt. It almost feels like a back scratch. Are you one <laughs> of those? A back scratch? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's been a while. Not necessarily yeah. a back scratch, but the feeling you get okay. when you get a back scratch. Okay, okay. Well, I like how there's like different sizes. Yep. And so cups. there's different sizes. We can go bigger, smaller. It depends on the body area, obviously, mm -hmm. of the size I would use. I have these little ones for my neck, the neck as well, Ooh. for people who have neck tension, which is almost everybody. Everybody, yeah. Yep. I was just thinking, oh, that would feel really good. So, Kat, this one that you have up here, it actually, yeah. like, it it does hurt a little bit. What does okay. that say about you doing it there? Yep, so you're tight here. We have a muscle right here that runs up from our shoulder up into our neck. Yeah. Okay, so a lot of times people get really tight here, hence why people get headaches. So because you feel that pull, it means you have a lot of tension there. You're tight, you're stuck. We need to get that released and moving. Okay, okay. keep going. And how often, <laughs> or, you know, what part of the body do most people have cupping therapy done <clears throat> on? I do a lot of neck, shoulders, and back. I usually do the whole thing because everything's connected, so I don't want to pinpoint one spot because that pain could actually be coming from elsewhere. So I do a lot of backs and necks. You can do the quads, the calves. Um, you can do hamstrings, anywhere the couple go, pretty and much. How long would a therapy session take, typically? I combine cupping therapy with my fascial stretch therapy, okay. so it's an hour-long session. Okay. okay. Very cool. Well, we did this very quickly. She looks very relaxed, so I'm glad you were brave enough to do this, Natalie. You're liking it. It's I am, okay. yes. I hope Kat stays a little bit longer. <laughs> Just okay. do the whole back if yeah. you want. Okay. There we go. There we go. Thank you for the free therapy, and thank you for showing us about cupping. Good job, yes. Natalie. Thank you. All right, Sweat, Sip, and Shop. One more time, happening Wednesday, March 8th, from 6 to 7.30. You can talk with Kat about cupping there. It is free. Sign up through the MindBody app by searching Empower Wellness Training by March 5th.